out. Okay, so cool. So you guys found our, our sign interesting in some sort of way. Oh, yeah. yeah, it says Satan on it, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you believe that Satan's real? Yes, I do. You do? Yes. How about you? Do you believe he's real? Oh, of course. You're you all, do? You know, without uh, evil, there's no good. Whose side are you on? Are you on Satan's side? Or are you on God's side? Or are you somewhere in between? I don't know. <laughs> I tend to be more in between, but I don't go out of my my way to hurt anybody and do no harm. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that's good that you don't mean harm to people, so that's awesome. You're not all the way on Satan's side. I'm glad to hear that. Um, <laughs> cool. So, um, do you believe he's personal, though? Do you believe there is a personal God who actually has morals and love that that possibly the reason we love our kids so much and the reason we have love to begin with is because God gave that to us because he's a God of love is that possible I think so okay how about you do you think so I don't know I mean to me it's almost like an idea I mean that uh, we as a collective people create a God essentially well we do we create lots of gods don't we well I mean of course in Hinduism, they have millions of them, you know? <laughs> yeah. We tend to create our own gods. I understand skepticism. I'm personally a Christian, but before I was, when this girl in college was talking to me about Jesus, I was like, come on. Like, first of all, how would you even know if there was a God? And then even if you knew, how would you know what religion's right? Because they all contradict each other. So I totally understand skepticism. If God hadn't shown me he was real, I don't think I would have believed. But he so radically came into my life and healed me on the inside. I couldn't have not believed if I tried. I'm going off on a bunny trail. That's not what I meant to say. Well, so what else can I ask you? If there is a God who radically loves you and wants you to know him, would you want to know him? Sure. <laughs> That's honest. I mean, it's kind of like uh, running into law enforcement. Not run into them. They serve a purpose. They do good. But I'd rather not run into them and make them angry. I remember what I was going to say. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that we create gods of our own imagination, right? A lot of people do. Now, ultimately, there is a real god or there's not. You know, there is a reality that has nothing to do with what we believe. I mean, it's going to be real whether we believe in it or not, right? If the Christian God is real, if Jesus really wasn't a liar or a lunatic, if he really was who he said he was, then the second commandment is not to make a graven image. Of the Ten Commandments, the Second Commandment is not to make a graven image. And what that really meant, you know how people used to actually worship statues and stuff, you know, when they were more primitive? Some people still do today. But what God really meant by it was that I don't want you to create a God of your own imagination. Don't think that you can create your own God with either your hands or your mind. Because if you do, that will be an imaginary God. That will be nothing but a God that you've created with your own imagination. It won't be real. And in fact, though, there are demons on this planet that might give you an experience to make you think they're real and they disguise themselves as angels of light. And so it could be worse. It could be worse than making a god of your own imagination. It could actually even be demonic that you're worshiping a demon by accident. That's what I was wanting to say before. So the DVD that we gave you, you got one, right? Yeah, I've got it. It's safe. It is, it is so interesting. It's got D, uh, Jim Morrison, Demon Possessed, on stage. It's got Stairway to Heaven played backwards so you can hear it with your own ears. Have you heard about that song? No, I, well, I heard about, like, you can, like... It's got all these satanic lyrics when you right. play it backwards. Well, what's freaky about it is they were Satanists, and they didn't write the song. They channeled it from the spirit realm. He said the words just came automatically. It was in this really bad mood, and all of a sudden, all his hands just started writing. There's a lady who's sure all the glitters is gold, and she's buying a stairway to heaven. And he said it just, it just came out of him. He didn't write it. So... so. Backward masking in the studio, 
um, you can do that and it'll make sense backwards, but it won't make sense forwards. In this case, it makes sense both ways. And they even have the forward lyric has to do with the backward lyric too. And it says here, the backward lyric though is, here's to my sweet Satan, the Lord turned me off. I want to live it backwards like the Zep, whose power is Satan, he will give you, give you 666. It's really creepy. It's actually really creepy. And then it's got other things like the Church of Satan speaking and what their agenda is and how they've taken over Hollywood. And it's a really interesting video. And the only thing I want to end with is if, if you do become convinced that Satan is real, then God is true and he loves you with the most radical love. And he would want to save you from that. So, so cool. And I know that you're in a very neutral position. You don't want to believe in the God or Satan, probably, really. Or you don't want to run into him, right? Raised Mormon. Ah. I, I have a very negative opinion of organized religion. I hear you. I hear you. And you know what? Organized religion so often has been so messed up. Look at the Catholics and the Inquisition and all that kind of thing. Although you do have to look at that they weren't really following G what Jesus said to do, obviously. They had made up their own religion Jesus along the way. Said, make a church. Not really. He said the people who believed in him were the church. It wasn't supposed to, yeah, necessarily be this building and structure. Although there's some structure to it, I guess Jesus would say, some, but not like we've turned it into. And you know what, Mormonism, for whatever it's worth, like you don't believe in it, right? Or do you? They have good values, good ideas. They do. That's about as far as it goes. Yeah. Do you believe you could actually become God? Do you believe you're somehow you could really be a God that could create your own world and rule over a whole planet? I, I really <laughs> have you. my doubts on that. But. She doesn't believe you could be that God. I've known her too long, yeah. I would be disappointed if my husband was God, too. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? That's the original temptation from Satan, that we could be like God. And it's interesting that Mormonism teaches that. Oh, okay. Maybe. They, they really don't like people knowing that that's what they teach. I know. Isn't that interesting? So they actually keep some of their things secret. And if it were light, if it were light, why wouldn't they be open about it? If it was the truth, what would they have to hide? Well, it's if you look at the uh, symbolism and everything else in their temples, it comes from Freemason sources. It sure does. And Brigham Young was a Freemason himself. It's not very widely known because the church was very successful in Wait, hiding. Say that again because she was screaming as she went by and I got distracted. What? About Brigham Young? Yeah, what about Brigham he was Young? A, he was a Freemason. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the church has done, gone through extreme lengths to hide that and destroy the doc documentation on it, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, there's been a lot hidden and a lot changed. So and it goes for the Catholics. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. So, so good. You have wisdom to, to, I'm so glad you got free of it, actually, honestly. You had the smarts, or maybe God's leading you even, that a lot of that stuff wasn't real. Who knows? Who knows? Time will tell. Time will tell. Thank you for your bravery and being interviewed. Okay, thanks. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay, so you got the DVD? I do. Yeah. Would you take this, too? This is more about evidence for God.